What up team, it's Coach Weibo, your MD mentor and coach. Welcome to another episode of the pre-med series and today I want to talk to you guys about the personal statement. So the personal statement is really an essay that allows you to talk about who you are and at the same time you want to answer the question of why medicine so why is the personal statement actually important um the personal statement is important because it's it's a place where you can you can highlight uh, yourself and and show yourself that you're more than just the stats and more than just the, the numbers that you, they are in your application right and also this is another place that you can um show some of the challenges and that you have overcome some of the obstacles that you have gone through in life maybe some of the things that you have learned about yourself over time uh, throughout your life and so this is such a critical part on showing the committee on who you're going to be what kind of medical student you're going to be what kind of physician you're going to be and so uh, this is something personal and so make sure you make it personal so one of the questions that i usually get a lot about the personal statement is how do i make it stand out and that's a great question and i want to share with you guys a few tips in, in how you can actually make yourself stand out in your personal statement so if you ever consider yourself a pre-med or you're thinking about it early in undergrad i want you to already start thinking about this most people usually delay this process they wait until that year when they are applying for medical school to start thinking about their personal statement the personal st- statement is your story right your personal statement is your why for medicine right and so early on as you're thinking about it i want you to start thinking about why medicine and as you're getting involved in your school as you're getting um, as you're trying to do some shadowing or whatever or research that's going to help you gear your activities towards your why in medicine. And that's actually what makes a personal statement a unique personal statement. That's one of the things. When someone's experiences are showing why they wanted to do medicine first of all. So the usual things that people talk about in personal statements are, you know, patient experiences and encounters. Those are great. People talk about their personal story. That's great. Uh, People talk about maybe different challenges that they faced in life and, and that's all great or people also talk about the curiosity or the love for science and, and medicine and how they want to help people all those are great things to talk about in your personal statement but you gotta take those things a step further maybe even two steps further right it's so important that you as you're talking about those experiences you talk about how did that impact you how have you changed it as a person because of that experience? How will that make you a great medical student? How will that make you a great doctor in the future? And so sometimes I even fell into this as I was doing my personal statement. I always end up highlighting what other people did or what that patient did or what that doctor did. And that's why I wanted to be a doctor. That's missing the point. It's almost like talking about somebody else instead of yourself so make sure as you're talking about as I saw that physician doing such and such that changed me a certain way that led me to have certain feeling about medicine as that patient did such and such that's how I became passionate about medicine that's how from there I wanted to be more involved in such and such I hope that makes sense. So make it about you and stop making it about a patient or about that story or about that physician. Take it a step further and show how those experiences have impacted you as a person and how those experiences are gonna make you a great physician. One of the things that you wanna make sure you do after you write this personal statement is make sure that you get people to read it, right? And one of the advice I wanna give you is that make sure you have two different sets of people who are gonna read your personal statement. One set of people are those who are 
maybe English majors or usually those people who are, have some type of you know writing skill behind them and another part of people want you to consider reading your personal statement are those people who actually know you really closely right so your parents your best friends those type of people so that way you not only you're going to get a great content out of your personal statement but you're also going to get good grammar and good structure and good organization right and make sure that you're open for suggestions from these people sometimes we're so ingrained in how we want to display a certain message in our personal statement and we miss out on how other people are actually going to read it the way you read it and how it makes sense in your mind is not the same as how it's going to make sense to the person who is reading it so be open about making some changes to make your personal statement make more sense to the reader so lastly i want to talk about some things that you should definitely avoid on your personal statement make sure you're avoiding some grammatical errors that can just be a complete complete turn off on the people who are reading it so read it so many times get people to read it so that you can avoid that error make sure that your personal statement is not too long make sure it's concise make sure it's telling the story and lastly make sure it's it's about you make sure it highlights you and so at the end of the day it's a personal statement so you gotta make it personal i really hope this helps you guys uh, to kind of see how you can make your personal statement stand out and if you have any questions please feel free to contact me follow me on ig at the white coat coach dm me and i'll do my best to reply to you guys and as always stay grinding